Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a Christmas haul from a few stores. We have Ross, Hobby Lobby, the Dollar Tree, the 99 cent store, and I think I have one thing from Fry's, which is just a candle. I went Christmas shopping last week and most stores didn't have that much variety. They were still putting things out. So I didn't have that much of a selection. So I might end up getting more before I decorate. I'm not planning to decorate until the weekend after Thanksgiving. But I did want to go ahead and show you guys what I got, um, just in case you guys are shopping for Christmas right now and preparing to decorate your home soon. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the haul. Before I get started, I wanted to mention that I like to reuse a lot of our Christmas stuff year after year. So this is just the new stuff that I got. When I do my Christmas decorate with me, you guys will see all of the stuff that I have had um, from years past. I don't usually stick to a particular theme, just whatever I like, whatever catches my eye at the store. But as you will notice in this haul, you will see a lot of gnome decor. There was just a lot of variety this year. I did have a lot of gnome decor in my Halloween decorate with me and haul um, for my tear tray. So there was a lot of variety of little gnomes at each store. So you're gonna see a lot of it within this haul, not necessarily my theme, but they are so cute. So definitely adding it into our decor. I don't think I have anything Christmas gnome um, before getting the things in this haul. So it's gonna be something new. I'm going to start off with the things that I got from Ross first. Starting off with this hanging sign. It says Merry Christmas. It has the truck. I love little truck design and decor. And it has like a fuzzy little beards, little hats with the balls on the ends. Then it does have a ribbon so you can hang it up. I don't know what happened to the tag, so I'm not sure how much this is because I seem to always lose my receipts. So here is the next item that I got. And as you can see, you can use it as four different placemats. Or if you can see, there's a button right there. You can hook them all together to create one long table runner. I really wanted to get two of these, but there was only one left. Um, it was $8.99. I do think I'm going to use it as the table runner on the table in our front room. So that's the plan so far, but I would have liked to have gotten two of these. Here is the next item I got. It's not necessarily a decor piece, but it's a little jacket or vest or sweater for Miss Winnie. This was $8.99, and she's going to look so cute in it. Look how cute that is. All of our other dogs have lots of fur to keep them warm, and they also don't like anything like that on them. So Winnie did pretty good with her pumpkin costume um, when we went trick-or-treating. So I think that she's going to like this one, too. Here is the next item. It is two kitchen towels, but I am going to put one of them in our guest bathroom downstairs because I couldn't find any bathroom towels um, that were even Christmas. Just red ones or really small like washcloth hand towels, but no, no larger towels like this that you can hang over the towel ring. Um, it says known for the holidays and this pack of two was $4.99. And here is the last item from Ross. It is a little doormat. It says, let it snow. So cute. And this was also $4.99. Can't beat that. And I'm just gonna put this right at the front door where we have our Charlie Brown Halloween one. This will just go right there. This is actually the last thing that I got from Ross. 
and it is a little gnome mug. You can use it for hot cocoa or for coffee. So how cute is this mug? It's a little gnome holding a wreath and this was only $3.99. Um, my favorite seasonal hot drink is peppermint mocha or peppermint hot chocolate. So good. I can actually drink peppermint mocha ice lattes all year round when Starbucks has it. Sometimes they have them. One Starbucks by my house never has peppermint unless it's during the winter time like right now. Um, but that's probably my all time favorite drink. Let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite seasonal drink. Now I'm going to move on to the items that I got from Hobby Lobby. I was pretty shocked that they didn't have a lot of Christmas stuff out yet just because I watch YouTube nonstop and I see what everybody's getting and decorating and the Hobby Lobby near me. There was two or three aisles that were completely empty that they were still stocking with Christmas. So I think I'm going to go back in a couple weeks. I'm not 100% sure yet. I need Josh to pull out our Christmas bins from the attic so I can see how much stuff I have from previous years. I know last year I went to Walmart after Christmas to buy some stuff on sale. So I need to refresh my memory on how much stuff I got. It might have just been not that much. I need to recheck before I go buy more, I think. I like the wrapping paper that Hobby Lobby has. Um, it is pretty heavy duty and it lasts. Um, this is 100 square feet. It was $9.99, but the day that I went to Hobby Lobby, all Christmas was 50% off, so this ended up only being $5 instead of $10. I got gingerbread houses. We do these every single year. So I ended up getting two boxes. I'll show you this one first. This one has the little village where there's four different small houses. This is the one that I usually get every single year so that each kid has their own little house to decorate. But since they were 50% off, I decided to get both. So we have a large gingerbread house, which Josh and I might decorate this year. And then we also have the little village. Here is the next item that I got. They are little glass measuring bowls. They are really, really cute. And you could realistically use these year round, not just for Christmas. Um, and the brand is Sleigh Bell Bistro from Hobby Lobby. These were originally $11.99. So getting them half off was a great deal. I do have one thing from Target. This little gnome is from Target. Look how sparkly his hat is. So cute. This was in the dollar spot and it was $3. Again, when I went to Target, they did not have a lot of stuff out. Um, I don't like to spend a ton of money on decor. I think I said this in my Halloween haul. Um, I like to go as cheap as possible. So I don't like spending a lot of money. So of course I hit up the dollar spot at Target thinking that they would have a lot of stuff. And when I went last week, they did not. So that was actually the only thing I got from Target. I'm going to show the stuff that I got from the 99 cent store. I got this red lace table runner and I'm gonna put this in kind of like our window cutout that we have between our front room and our living room. I think this is gonna go perfect right there. Here's the next item. It is the glitter drape that's kind of, looks like fake snow. I got this to put on the tiered tray. I got a pack of paper plates. I wanted to put them on the front room table, kind of like what I did with my fall decor, but those plates were much bigger because I found those at Hobby Lobby. Couldn't find any Christmas ones, so I did get these ones from the 99 cent store. Um, I'm going to see how they look and play around with them. But if I don't put them out on the table for decor, we'll have these plates for Christmas morning. I got this red and black checkered tinsel garland and I am going to also use this for the tiered tray. 
and I got two sets of poinsettias. This is just the classic red, and then I am going to add some white. I think I'm going to add them to some of the vases that I have in the front room that currently has fall leaves and just interchange them with these. And then I got one fake candle that's very sparkly red. Like the glitter is like falling off of it, um, but it does actually light up. So I got this to put on the tear tray. It'll look so pretty at night. And then I got these two golden snowflakes, very glittery. They are very durable too, like you can barely bend them. Um, they're not plastic, maybe like a rubber material. Um, glitter's kind of falling off of these two, but they are really pretty. As I said before, I love the truck theme, so I had to get this little Merry Christmas truck with a very fun sparkly tree in the back. I got one bottle brush tree. It has little red ornaments on it, big snow, really cute. If you guys have a 99 cent store near you and you're ever in need of baking supplies, um, sprinkles, icing, they always have a good stock of it and a good selection. I did get these green sugar sprinkles. I also got red ones too. Um, they're in the kitchen because I filmed a video the other day. So stay tuned for that. It is a Christmas brunch video and I share our favorite family traditions within that video. So stay tuned. That video will be up on Friday. Um, but a dollar for this huge thing of sprinkles, you can't beat that price because sprinkles can be expensive. Another place I like to go to to get sprinkles or icing, anything baking, like that is also Hobby Lobby because they're oftentimes 50% off. Next is this little wooden sign. Tis the season to be jolly. So cute, perfect for a tiered tray. Another little gnome. Isn't it so cute? He's got a Christmas tree with ornaments. It doesn't light up. I wish it did, but it was only 99 cents. And another one, the very cute hat holding some garland. And this one was actually $1.99. If you guys have been to the 99 cent store, you may know already that they have 99 cent plus. Used to be only when I was growing up, but now they offer more things. Um, so they kind of tricked me because I might like something. I put in my cart thinking it's only 99 cents and it ends up being more, but Still reasonable, this, this little gnome was actually $1.99. We have this block sign that says joy with a wreath in the middle, and this was $2.99. This is not a decor piece, but it is something that I needed, just like the wrapping paper. These are Christmas tags, and I like how big they are, because you have lots of room to write. I've noticed that the smaller tags, like the sticker ones, you can just stick on to a present. The writing area is so small, so you could barely fit any. So this year I wanted to get bigger tags and I saw these and I thought that they were perfect. You can't really see, but in between the tags, there is some gold string so that you can tie these tags onto gift bags or you can just tape them on to um, a present. You guys know I love window clings. I couldn't find very many, so these are the only ones that I ended up getting between the 99 cent store and the Dollar Tree. Um, but I love little penguins, little snowflakes. And this is the last thing that I got from the 99 cent store. It is a metal tin, happy holidays with the truck theme. This was $4.99. And my plan for this is to put it outside to put small bottles of water and little snacks for our Amazon and UPS and FedEx, all of our delivery drivers. I thought that that would be a good gesture. I've seen other YouTubers do that in their videos before. It gave me a great idea. I have not done it yet, um, but that is my plan for this bin. 
what is Christmas or Christmas time without Christmas candles? I love candles and especially the seasonal ones. And this one I found at Fry's the other day when I was doing some grocery shopping. It was on sale for $3.58. It is a three wick candle and the scent is Candy Cane Spruce and it's by Candle Light. That's the brand. It smells so good. It does smell like pine, but not overpowering. I know some of the pine ones from Bath and Body Works. I cannot burn them. It gives me a headache, but this smells a lot lighter and it does have a tiny hint of mint to it. it smells really good. And it was only $3.58, so I couldn't pass that up. I definitely still want to go into Bath and Body Works sometime this season. I love the Marshmallow Fireside candle. That is my favorite, favorite, favorite fall to winter time scent. And I also love the hot cocoa and cream candle. Josh is not a big fan of it, but that is another one of my favorites. So now I'm going to move on to the things I got from the Dollar Tree, which is not very many because there was hardly anything. I was so bummed. But I did get this little nutcracker. It's just a little plastic one. Thought he would look cute on the tiered tray. And then I did get some candy, Andy's mints and mini candy canes. These are just to put in the candy dishes that um, I've had from years past. I do like to get um, butterscotch candies too, because I grew up every year on our tree, we would have butterscotch candy canes. I have not seen those in forever, but that was one thing that we always had on the tree. So I always get the butterscotch lifesavers to put in candy dishes as well. This is the last thing that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's just a little wooden sign. It says Mary. And my final store is Walmart. At the beginning of this video, I did not list them this many stores, but as I'm going through all of my stuff, I realized I did go to multiple stores. And again, this is all I could find. So let me know in your area, is your guys' stores stocked and ready for Christmas? Or is everything gone already? Or have they not stocked up like my stores here? Here is the first thing I got from Walmart. It is actually an ornament, but I'm going to use it for the tiered tray. I keep saying that. I've probably said this like 50 times, but that's what I'm going to probably use this for. It was $2.98. And then this little truck with the Christmas tree and presents in the back. This is also to be used as an ornament. It's a pretty big ornament, but I'm not going to use it for that purpose. Um, but this was $4.98. Walmart had a much better selection of window cleans. So I got this cup of coffee or hot cocoa. It says be merry. Some steam, snowflakes, candy cane. So cute. I love this. Um, and this was $1.48. And these are the last items that I got. These were only $0.99. Cents. This is sleigh bells it's actually just like a fresh clean scent it's not really seasonal scented but it still smells good and then i got these two it's snowman and a little raccoon and these two smell like mint and they smell so good all right you guys that's gonna be it for this haul i know it is a little small um keep your eye out for maybe one in the future i might incorporate it into a vlog if i go shopping and go get anything else but this is it for now if you guys are new here please hit that red subscribe button and join my growing youtube family i am a stay-at-home mom of four kids and here on my channel i like to share stay in the life vlogs family vlogs cooking videos cleaning videos hauls, meal plans, pretty much all lifestyle content. I have a lot more Christmas content coming your way very soon. I just have to make it through the end of November as I have my twins 12th birthday, which is this Friday the 19th. Um, I will be vlogging their birthday party, so stay tuned for that vlog coming at you next week. And then we also have Thanksgiving, which I plan to vlog as well. So stay tuned for vlogs very, very soon. 
And again, my Christmas brunch video goes up this Friday. So be on the lookout for that. Hit that notification bell so you guys know when I post. Leave me a comment down below. I love to chat with all of you guys in the comments. And I hope everyone's doing well. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.